Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. Welcome to our third SolidWorks screencast. In this screencast, we actually uh, create a very basic geometry here. It's a bracket shape like this. Uh, we have two counterbore holes here, one here. We have uh, a cut here. We have a kiwi groove. And finally, we have two kind of set screws all the way through in both sides. So, uh, as you can see, it's a very simple shape. I start uh, from making a new part, and I go much faster than actually the normal pace. Usually, I go uh, during my lecture, you go to front, make a sketch, start with a simple rectangular shape here. S key, you give the geometry here 100, you give this one here 40. Done with this, you go to um, extrude base and 10 millimeter is what I need. So this geometry is made. Click on this, uh, make a sketch, space bar, normal two. You go and make a line here, start a simple line. And here, if I want to continue, so I just can click and make next one. But if I want to make a curve, so I press A. And as soon as I press the A key, so a line turns to a curve. And I bring it here up to I become parallel with the next one. Both of them are horizontal. And I click here, go down a straight line, and I close this. So as you can see, I have six uh, relations here. These two lines are tangent. This half a circle, both of them are vertical. This line is horizontal, and these two are connected here. Now I want to give the dimension here, make the radius 25 and from the center to this point make it 50 and by doing that so we have a, a fixed geometry so now this line here uh, let's do it again this height should be 35 there we go so perfectly everything is blue it means everything is uh, well defined you get out from the sketch you go again to extrude and uh, you want to do the other side either you click here or you uh, simply use this side here and you make it again 10 click on it so this has been made already next step is you want to make the uh, counter bore so what we have here an option is called whole wizard click on it and you will get six options, five of them are defined, and the other one is a customized. A very handy feature uh, SolidWorks offers. It may take a couple of seconds here. These are the six one here. So I, I choose here counter bore, and then it goes to position here. And I can simply go on the top here or click on it, make it normal. Uh, so want to have the front so this side oh sorry it should be top now okay right here so I uh, the position one position here and as you can see you continue go here if you are in the same uh, align with the other one you click on this and now I want to make the dimensions here normal to so press s so the dimension is from this point to this line, make it 12. Uh, from this point to this line, make it 12. And from this point to this line, again 12. So as from this point to this line, 12. So it seems well defined here. Press OK and OK. So the Shape is made. Right now, maybe you realize, wow, this is way too big. So nothing to worry about. You have here the feature. Right click, edit, and simply it brings me the same menu. And then I can go and modify uh, here. Instead of having ten, I can go and get the six, which is way smaller. So let's make it okay here. Now let's go to the other side here. In this side and uh, normal into it now I use again the whole wizard and basically what I want to do is now make another one here 
So the same, this time I use actually number 10, position, I can place it here. And now, most probably this has been, uh, the point has been activated. So deactivate this button. And now by doing that, you can move this one whenever you want. I can put it here. I can put it here. But if I want to put it at the center here, center of this uh, half a circle, you just drag it to the circumference of the half a circle. And then right away, you will see this uh, crosshair comes. And you can just drag it, drop it right there. And here we go. It's done. So we made this. So the next one, I want to make that uh, groove here. So you select it. You go and sketch spacebar and you want to make it uh, perpendicular make another simple uh, rectangular shape here s key dimension this one it's 40 and this one is 3 of course this wants to be in the center this is 40 therefore from this line to this line uh, the dimension again select from here to here this has to be 30 so 40 30 30 and now it's right at the center so you click on this you already done that then next you go here use extrude cut and extrude cut uh, there are several options you can make it blind you can define how deep you want to have it you can get all the way through or you can use the other option here with the same result it's up to the surface and you define this surface uh, and you will do the job there we go let's make the key way underneath here uh, normal to this face so you go and make a sketch here in this case you use the straight slot here so one point here one point here shape like this s key dimension so you want from this point to this line here because it has to be center make it 50 uh, now it's the center here this point to this point make it 3 and uh, then you can have obviously this length or you can select just this length uh, which has already been defined here so let me just uh, here press here and here make it uh, 30 there we go so everything is perfectly set up here now the next thing I want to do is I make my uh, extrude cut and of course I don't want to go all the way through I want to do five millimeter there we go and in this particular case there's another feature here is called the draft so draft is usually used when you want to uh, have a mold or you have a cast so you want to get it out from the mold or from the cast so you have to have a slight angle otherwise it's not going to get there you know it reminds me of a very interesting uh, kind of story from Apple so when first time Apple a company made the exactly perfect square monitor that was a kind of trade secret and a signature for Apple so other monitors that were slightly like a conical shape with angle and it was saying that nobody could have copied that at that time and uh, what they did for the mold, they used eight movable pieces to make exactly the monitor square shape. So uh, here we have this feature here. So you can click on it. And I show you what I mean exactly here. See, this is the geometry. And if I go and I increase it, you can see it become a kind of smaller. This surface is bigger than this surface. Usually the angle between three to five is kind of normal. So I cut it here. And this is how it looks. The very last thing I would like to do here before I do my uh, fillet is I select the surface normal into it. This is the one. And I want to make my those uh, set screws. So uh, click on it, make a sketch, make a circle. Uh, what happens to my screen? So no, let's not do it. Try again. I want this, I want normal, and I want, uh, well, I should find another way of doing it. Let me just go here. First, I make it a sketch. Uh, 
Uh, I have to make this make a square, uh, sorry, a circle here, and I can make it not normal right here. So make a circle here, just a very tiny circle, maybe something like this, and I make another one right here. So first thing I want to get the dimension of these. Uh, circle this is 0.7 and the next one is 0.7 as well now magnified here uh, so if you want to see how it looks it's right there you know these two surfaces I could have made it actually in this one as well but it doesn't matter uh, Maybe I'll make it actually a little bigger. Maybe I'll make it one, one millimeter here and one millimeter here. One millimeter. So now the dimensions again S uh, from this center to this. So from this point to this, I make it five millimeter. And same thing for the next one here. From this point to this line, I make it five millimeter. So, and then of course the last one is the distance between uh, the center and this line, which I make it uh, two millimeter. Maybe two is too high. Maybe it's one. And so as from this point and this line and I make it one there we go so this is done here completely set and now I'm gonna go to uh, my data mode here which is the feature now I do extrude cut this is interesting now I want to do extrude cut I want to go up to the surface and you see I choose now this surface and I say yes so you see the cut has been made all the way through here very final things I would like to do is to making my fillet. This is the option. Go here to fillet. Uh, this is the actual size. Five will be sufficient. So I choose this here and this. And I use uh, maybe for this one actually. Five is too much. Delete that. So this, this two is good. Maybe a little different than what I have, but that's okay. And for the other ones, I can change uh, my fillet radius. So I make it maybe two. So this is gonna be two. This is gonna be two. I go here. This is gonna be two. And this is gonna be two. Uh, so as maybe I choose this one's back here. These are all two. So as lines here. And the next one, I could have done all in one shot anyway. We can use multiple or different uh, radius here. So when you go to the manual, you have different multiple radius fillet. But anyway, uh, and I use the last one as one. And my ones are uh, here, here, here. Inside, inside, and this guy's here. And I'm missing this here and nothing else. Okay, this is done. And I think the final step I want to uh, apply is going to the appearance here. Click here. So this gives you the appearance. And uh, you wait a couple of seconds, it comes, you go to appearance, you go to metal and let's just use something like for example a uh, copper shape and here is the copper I use this I can use one sh side or I can use actually the entire uh, features so I go maybe to bronze and the whole thing becomes looks like a bronze or this uh, and this actually the out end result here. I continue with the next tutorial doing the actual drawing uh, from a part. 
So this concludes our uh, screencast number three tutorial.